Nigeria. Happy Independence, Nigeria. <laughs> what is that? It is 55 years. Like I normally say, it's been a rough patch. We fell, we stood, and we are still here. In your assessment, how has the journey been so far? Well, for me, we must give glory and honor to God Almighty for seeing Nigerians through in the last 55 years. Nobody has actually envisaged that the journey would be as uh, torturous as this. But be that as it may, Nigeria still remains one of the, great, the greatest black nations in the world. And I can assure you that better days lies ahead of us. There's this contentious issue that borders on everyone. Security. We know right now in the northeast, as it is also in the Niger Delta, security is a big issue. As we celebrate 55 years, there are people who are despondent. What message do we pass across to them? Well, I, I think for me, I can actually encapsulate my understanding of this reasoning in, in a song that says that uh, though we pass through tribulations, that all will be well. Security, I know, is paramount in any economy. And this is uh, one of the key cardinal uh, programs, promises of our dear President Buhari that it will focus on security, it will focus on the corruption, and it will focus on the um, employment generation capabilities of the economy. And for me, I, I think uh, in the dying days of um, the last administration of President Jonathan, we had made considerable inroads in the Northeast. And I'm happy that uh, our dear President Buhari also recorded a lot of successes in that regard, especially with his promise and his mandate to the military authorities that Boko Haram must be eradicated before uh, in the next three three months and also based on the assurances of the military authorities that they will eradicate Boko Haram before December. So I believe that um, the president has done well in that regard because the issue of Boko Haram was not it was not a one term or one year a one year issue. It is endemic in our in our system. And it, this brings me to a point where I think the foundation for fighting insecurity in Nigeria is the creation of employment. We must constructively engage the youths of this country. And that's the reason why I'm pushing forward a motion in the Senate on the soaring unemployment in Nigeria. Because if we forget about the foundation, without the foundation, we cannot achieve uh, greater results. And I think as, as a Senate, as this is we owe Nigerians a duty to ensure that we partner with the executive to alleviate the sufferings of Nigeria and also create employment generation capabilities in our economy. Okay, as we wrap up this session, I want to ask this question. The Central Bank of Nigeria recently warned of a recession in the Nigerian economy. Nigeria is 55 years old. Can we afford that again, given the myriad of challenges we have surrounding us? Well, I, I think the foundation of that warning is that there is need for us to diversify our economy. And I'm most concerned with the warning because, I mean, the Central Bank, you are the advisor to the president, the monetary advisor to the president on the economy while government deals on the fiscal uh, policy uh, aspects. I, I believe that where we are now is for you to show us the direction to go. And we, as members of the National Assembly, we are ready to ensure that we avoid recession. And the only way we can avoid recession is that it's because Nigeria was actually dependent on, on one product, which is, of course, which of course you know is the crude oil. And you know the variety of, and the uh, vol volatility or this product as we speak down as regards uh, pricing. So I believe that a warning is a warning. We must now take steps as a country to see how we can guide our activities to avoid a, a, a proper recession. More or less, nobody says that the economy cannot go into recession, but Nigeria has the capacity to survive any recession. I can assure you of that. It is on that note we ask for your message to Nigerians as we mark 55 years? Well, for me, I think uh, we need to look into the future with all, all amount of certainty and hope and trust in the capacity of Nigeria to survive as an independent united country. We can only trust on God to take us to the promised land. But I can assure you as a country, Nigeria will survive.